Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We're playing an Ogre Gladiator of Uskayu, and it looks like we just finished killing some monsters when we ended the last episode. What was going on with that? I remember we left Slime, but we don't seem to be at Slime now. Oh, there's a bunch of Death Yaks. Okay, sure. Why not? Um, and so we now have the question of where to next. Um, now that we have three runes, of course, Zot is open to us, and we're done with Depths, so we could just go there. Um, and that's probably what I'll do, but I want to at least... Um, let's actually look at the overviews a better... Uh, I want to at least consider whether there is something else we should do instead. Um, you know, we could do Crypt. We could f do another level or two of Vaults. Um, which seems like dumb. Uh, you know, we have pretty much everything we're going to get for Zot. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, we, we fiddled with some mutations, yeah. Uh, let me go actually grab that Ring of Protection from Fire, which... I, I know that I say players uh, sometimes focus too much on... on Orbs of Fire when they're heading to Zot. Uh, and, like, that's true. But, uh, you know, so we can if, if we can prepare for it by just picking up a Ring of Fire resistance, like, that seems good to me. Um, so I think we're just going to, yeah, I think head to Zot. Like, uh, there's not really that much left uh, to do in preparation. Uh, oh, actually, stop. Hang on. Uh, shopping. Look at all this stuff. I don't know where we got all this gold from. I guess Depths has gold. That makes sense. Um, but we could grab Beneficial Mutation, uh, grab an Acquirement. Those are both good. I wouldn't mind having a, you know, Potion of Cancellation and a Ring of Protection from Cold available. But there's not really going to be anything in Zot where I'm like, oh man, I need more Cold Resistance. So forget it. Um, actually, I want to do a quick survey of what there is to buy that I haven't yet... I, I sometimes forget to do this little check and see... Um, before I, I head into Zot and like everything's going kind of okay, and then I get to the bottom and I'm like, shoot, I forgot my Potions of Cure Mutation or whatever. Um, so here, the thing that I would like to pick up is mostly just Potions of Brilliance, I think. Uh, everything else is okay. Scrolls. Magic Mapping. How much of that do we have? Four? That's fine. We don't really need another. Oh! I... Are you kidding? I forgot the Scrolls of Enchant Armor at Slime 5? Oh, I must have been pretty tired last night, huh? Jeez, what, a, what an embarrassment. Um, how much cancellation do we have? We have two. Um, let's buy, like, say, one more. But I don't think I'm going to need that. Many. We'll quaff our beneficial... Well, <laughs> let's wait till we go to Slime, huh? Grab the scroll of acquirement. I don't even know what I want to acquire exactly. Like, um, probably, oh, of course I do, a wand. It's so weird not seeing ammo, right? Ammo is uh, gone now. You can't acquire ammo. Um, and so there's sort of a blank space where there used to be a thing. I am pleased, but not surprised, to find that wand is still on F, even though something in front of it was removed. Um, I was gonna just type, you know, read Z, F, but then I was like, ah, let's make sure that I... Wand of Lightning, huh? All right. Scroll. Oh, how much teleport? We have six. Ah, yeah, I'm gonna need another one of those, please.
and this is uh, not a useful shop. Uh, let me just take Berserk, no longer relevant to me. No longer desirable, anyway. Mm -hmm. So let's look for Brilliance or... I forget if you need two pipes now. I think you do. Um, brilliance or... No, we already got Tele. Enchant Armor. Or, like, Cancellation. I don't know. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and buy one more Potion of Cancellation since we have the money for it. We'll go pick up our Potions of Brilliance that we left all over the dungeon. That'll help with... Um, mostly Zot Ninjing. Forget this Orb of Ignition, Rod of Ignition. We haven't really trained enough um, for it to be that useful, I'm afraid. Um, we're going to have to head back into Slime, which is quite a disappointment. Uh, oh, don't get the ones from Depths, please. Uh, we'll pick those up later. Spider 4, sure. Exciting start to the episode. Walking around, picking up items that we left on the ground. Oh well. And uh, next up, Depths 3. Anyway, like I was saying, Brilliance, uh, you sometimes find yourself wanting to cast Passage of Glubria in Zot, or something like that, right? Mostly in Zot 5. Um, and we can do that with Brilliance, and probably, well, we probably can with Brilliance, and we certainly can't without Brilliance. Uh, wow, there's a lot of Spriggans all of a sudden. Oh, I went and got the one in Depths, despite saying I didn't want to. Oh well. Uh, let's kill the Berserker, please. There we go. Okay, sure. Uh, yeah, didn't really intend to go into depths there, so I kind of uh, was caught off guard by having done so anyway. Okay, good. We didn't run into... Uh, yeah, enchant up the Storm Dragon Armor twice, please. Um, sir... Anything else I forgot to pick up here? No. Alright, let's get back to Lair. Um, yeah, I guess this guy's gonna find us. Doesn't really matter. Um, that's a little... I left my... Uh, ring of Corrosion Resistance outside. Uh, let's get out a sack of spiders here, just in case. Alright, well, I tried, it didn't work. But then we paralyzed them all, so, sure. Alright, now let's go uh, to Zot Zero here. Armor of 27 is, like, okay. It's not amazing, but it's fine. Do I, uh, is that a pickup on? Yeah, it is. I just thought I had walked over some chunks without picking them up. Apparently I was incorrect. All right, well, so here we are, nine minutes into the episode, and we're about to start playing Crawl. Hope you guys, uh, I hope that's what you guys came here for. Um, I mean, obviously what we've been doing previously has also been playing Crawl, but, um, Sort of the less exciting parts. Here we are, Zot. Okay. Uh, mapping, please. So, am I going to dive? I usually do. I don't really see a good reason not to. You know, we can gain some experience this way, very exciting, I'm sure, but uh, not ultimately all that relevant. Um, if, we, if we were to, like, try to clear. The main thing is that just what's going to be safer on the way back up? Well, obviously, on the way back up, it would be safer if we had cleared on the way down. Um, but there's a lot of danger in clearing on the way down. So I'm going to just um, keep, keep reading Magic Mapping and see... 
what the layout seems to suggest that I should do. That's a cool little elevator. But it doesn't connect so well up here. I think where we are is... We, we could consider trying this staircase, I guess. It's not that far. Uh, but this one's quite nice, so um, if we can get here without too much trouble, which seems likely, um, then I will take it. Anyway, so if we find a layout that for some reason somehow is very unfavorable to diving, then, you know, whatever, we can we can spend some time clearing. Um, I think we can probably take it, but um, what is this? Poison gas. Let's blink out of there. Um, so like, anyway, like I was saying, we probably could clear, but it's just a dangerous thing. To, hey, just a dangerous thing to do. Uh, why, how did I go berserk, please? The Moth of Wrath. Okay, well, let's take the Moth of Wrath upstairs. And rest it off. So, anyway, like, this is a sm Well, not small, but it's like a medium-sized Draconian pack. And it's presenting us with some, you know, actual problems. Not not insurmountable, but they're, they're causing a ruckus. And um, that's the kind of thing that happens all the time in Zot. Uh, there's just enough monsters that are tough that this kind of thing happens, um, which is why I prefer ooh, 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 stairs just like this or what I prefer. And look, there's a, no, it's a hatch. Anyway, I prefer when I can to dive Zot. And like I said, I think we probably could clear, but it's just dangerous. Um, so I want as few fights as I can, uh, manage. Okay. Um, all the stairs up are near here. The stairs down are... Um, this, is, this is a hatch over here, I guess? I tried once to set the color for hatches to be something, like, more... I have a little bit of trouble seeing these hatches, and I feel like if they were blue or something, I would notice them better. But it doesn't seem to work. I I must have gotten the RC file syntax wrong. I'm like, I, I can kind of recognize them. So what is a death cob? Um, were there any other stairs here that would be reasonable? Like, this one's not too bad. Um, so we could consider, like, coming out of one of these staircases at some point. But it's not... I guess I'd like to scout out uh, which staircase... Uh, oh, no, I was thinking a different thing. Yeah, no, I, I like this staircase, and I don't really want to use a different one. <laughs> okay, uh, so there's a lot of monsters there, and we probably want to dig a little bit of a kill hole, right? Um, say, like, here. Whoa, I can't go west from here? Am I at the edge of the map? I guess so. I don't know if it's actually the border of the map. I'm pretty sure you could dig west of here if you wanted to. Um, but I think it's just going to make things a lot simpler than trying, and safer, uh, than trying to fight all this in, in the open. Yeah, okay. So now the Moths of Wrath can't enrage anything. Um, and only one monster is hitting us. It's, like, very nice. Uh... We're doing a little bit badly in terms of health. Nothing terrifying, but um, I do want to look around and see if there's a buff I should be putting on or something, like say beneficial mutation. Let's let's quaff that. I should have quaffed it earlier. Oh, that's interesting. So I have beneficial mutation inscribed with "Don't quaff this without a warning." Which means if I type QX, then it's like, are you sure you want to quaff this? But apparently if I type inventory X quaff, it doesn't ask if I'm sure. I would be interested to see if there's a compelling reason for that. Um, you could argue 
that it's like, well, you obviously were looking at the item before you decided to quaff it, so it can't have been a mistake. But uh, maybe the mistake is uh, is in hitting Q at all. Maybe I didn't mean to quaff anything. Oh my lord! Okay, we need uh, we need some more buffs here. I thought we were about done, but we're not even close. Quaff haste, yes. Quaff resistance, sure. Quaff. I really don't want to quaff an agility. Let's quaff might. And uh, I'm going to use a curing here just to sort of pass a turn and heal a bit more. Um, could use heal wounds, but I don't think we're doing that badly. Well, we kind of are. There's a lot of draconians here. But with, with haste and might and resist, I think this is going okay. Uh, one more curing. Want to squeeze out every little edge we can, but not blow our real um, emergency consumables, i.e. potions of heal wounds, which we don't have that many of. What? Is something wearing off? I thought I saw something about wearing off. No. Okay. Yeah, haste and might and a plus 11 giant club of uh, being pretty darn good is... Uh, is a powerful effect. So, but like, this fight is an example of the horrors of Zot, right? We haven't explored the floor at all. We're like across the wall from the stair we came up on, came down on rather. And just there, we encountered a gigantic pack of draconians and dragons. So threatening that we had to dig a kill hole, and it still wasn't enough, we had to pop several consumables. And it's like, do you really want to spend, uh, spend time in this area voluntarily? No, you want to dive. What was all that stuff on the ground anyway? Right, nothing, uh, nothing. Oh, book of spatial translocations. But I already learned all the ones I want out of that book, so. Anyway, so that's that one's closer, huh? I guess it is. Okay. That's why I don't stick around in Zot, because stuff like that is just routine, and uh, you don't want that to be a routine. <laughs> um, uh, so I think we're going to do what I typically do, which is clear the top half, or it may be bottom half, I'm not sure yet, but it looks like the top half of um, Zot 5, yeah, there's the bottom half. Um, oh, and here we are. Now we can see uh, for sure. Indeed. Um, just clear the, clear the top half, uh, get rid of all the scary monsters and so on. Um, cursed Toe, yikes. I don't like all these mushrooms, though. All right, we got them. But now we need to rest. Torment is a big deal. Huh. Cool. Thanks, Evolution. I should have gone upstairs to rest, actually. Um, because monsters, I believe, uh, the monsters spawn... Monsters are created over time as you hang out in a level, not just the initial ones who are placed. It's a slow process, but it, it does happen. And... Um, so you don't want to spend time on Zot 5 that you are not actively killing things or going for the orb. Hmm... Alright, so we're out of Potions of Haste, but we have a Wand and a few Recharges. Where's Recharge? Yeah, two of them. Um, 
So I'm going to just dig a little kill hole here again. I'm not sure how many draconians there are, but I see three, which is already like, you know, probably not a big deal. But if there were more, it could start to be a big deal. And now we just have a safe place. Um, I'm a little bit sad that we haven't found any digging and that our disintegration is a little low. It's going to make the orb run a bit more difficult than uh, it usually is. Just uh, being unable to dig straight lines to the uh, exit of every floor. Um, okay, great. So uh, yeah, this has only been 20 minutes. We can we can uh, I think wrap up the game this episode. The question is, however, uh, how to tackle Zot Five. Obviously, some of it already tackled. Top half, no problem. The bottom half should be just as easy, right? Haha. Uh, okay, so one thing I want to do is uh, evaluate the stairs. That's the staircase we were uh, we already used, but this is the staircase that's most convenient to an exit if we're walking. So I want to see where it goes. Okay, it goes someplace totally fine. Let's just uh, check the area around. Yeah, no monsters. Great. Um, oh, I didn't, uh, you don't have to go up them anymore. You, oh, 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 but I did because, um, I hadn't actually seen this staircase before. I had just seen it on magic mapping. Okay, right. So that was, that was the correct behavior, the correct action that I took. Um, so there's a few things we can do, uh, for Zot 5. We can... Try to kill dude a bunch of it. You know, we're an ogre. We have a giant club, so that's possible. Um, but, of course, quite dangerous. We'll be fighting a lot of monsters. Um, we could do the classic teleport ninja of just, like, buff up, teleport until you land someplace pretty close, and then, like, a port and blink to get the orb, uh, and then teleport back out. Um, or we could try Passage of Galubria strats. I don't think that's very likely to work out, honestly. Um, we do have Brilliance. I don't know. I've had some bad experiences the last few times I've tried to do it, even though in theory it like is great. Um, I have three scrolls of blinking, which means I only need an acceptable, and, and, and I have a port, right? So I only need a somewhat acceptable landing to get myself to the orb. So I could like, well, so here's the thing. If your plan is to do a port, uh, sorry, to do Passage of Galubria strats, and your passages of Galubria close, you can still teleport to get out. Um, and likewise, if your plan is to teleport, well, you might as well put down some passages of Galubria, and then if it seems convenient, you can use passage of Galubria instead to get out, right? Um, I have only six teleport, which is, like, a l enough, but not a great surplus. Um... You know, I would rather have, like, nine. If I have nine teleport, like, I'm pretty confident I, you can telly in and telly out. But, like, if you look at the shape of the level, about half the exposed squares are up here, and, like, about half of them are down here, roughly. So every teleport has a 50% chance to get you into the Hall of Zot at all, and a 50% chance to get you out. Uh, oh, apparently there's a statue here. I'm surprised mapping would tell us that. Um, and like, if you land in this half of the orb, the Hall of Zot, it's not really good. You really want to land in this half, and there's only like a one in four chance of doing that. And like, then you can blink to the orb, no problem, but, you know, if you have six scrolls of teleport, and teleport is your only way out... I don't know that you really want to uh, 
burn up a bunch of them to get in as well. So I'm kind of leaning towards like, I'm not sure exactly. I'm not leaning towards anything in particular so much as I am worried about teleporting. Oh, we have eight. All right, so all you guys who are just typing in the comments section to let me know that I have eight scrolls of teleport, not six, fear not, put away your pen. Uh, I've noticed now that we have eight, so that's uh, actually probably fine. I, I mean, I wished for nine, right? I was like, what's the lowest amount I would be totally comfortable with? Nine. But like, eight's probably fine, too. Um, so I think that we should do a teleport-based strat. Uh, and so, as I mentioned, that means we might as well mix in Passage of Galubria. And that means that the question sort of becomes what order to put on all of our... There's like a lot of things we want to do, right? We want to read Telly. We want a haste, we want resistance, we want agility, we want might, we want brilliance. I think I said teleport already. We want to put down some passages of Galubria. And there's sort of like a partial ordering between those, right? You have to like quaff brilliance before you put down agility, before you put down Galubrias, I'm sorry. Um, you don't want to read teleport first, because if you do, you'll teleport away before you're done doing all the other stuff. Um, and I always like, it's a little optimization problem of figuring out exactly what order to do these things in, and I never really quite know. Um, sometimes, I, I try to base it on like what I have more of in my, um, let's, let's actually read recharging on my hasting immediately. And let's also renumber, re-letter some of these things so I can remember what they are. Let's put S on H, let's put... Uh, sorry, put hasty on H. Put um, disintegration on D, I guess. Uh, I think the other stuff is all pretty much fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is there anything I should like identify? I have a Oh, another one of this integration. That's nice, I guess. Sure, let's identify that. Okay, we have plenty of charges, but it's not nearly as good to use on the orb run as um, digging is. It's okay, but um, just not as generally applicable. We could also quaff flight. Don't see any compelling reason to do that. Uh, we're up to two agility, which is better than one. Invisibility, we're just never going to use, really. Um, with the orb on, you can't be invisible, I believe. And um, and it will contribute to contamination anyway, which we'll be using plenty of with haste and blinking. Okay, so what are we gonna? What order do we do this in? I don't want brilliance first. Let's quaff like. Let's quaff Might and Resist, and then do Haste. And then what do I have left? Agility, Brilliance, Teleport, Galubria. I think that that's enough things that I can just um, do them after the Haste. Sorry, I, I can do like Teleport and then do the other stuff. So we're going to quaff Might... I'm coughing it first because I don't mind it wearing off. I don't really plan to be attacking a lot of stuff. I just want to be able to kill it quickly if I do. And also because I have a lot of it and I don't mind re-upping if necessary. Okay. Now we can haste up. Oh, let's put just uh, my potions of heal wounds on capital H. I usually do that for a wand of heal wounds, but I don't have one. So there you go. Uh, so we have might resist and haste now. So let's quaff brilliance. Quaff. You know what? Yeah, let's quaff agile now. Let's cast Passage of Gluria. Perfect is at 2%, just what I wanted to see. Are there any other potions I'm missing right now? Fast, might, brill, agile, resist. That's all of them. Okay. 
I'm not going to use invisibility or, or flight or anything dumb like that. Uh, so let's just cast a little more Galubria. Oh, let's put that on G. And one more won't hurt. I think I'll leave it at this, though. Teleport me. I didn't teleport! What an idiot! Idiot! Alright, put down more passages of Galubria. Okay. Uh, this looks fine. We can blink here. Um, we could maybe cut around the corner a bit, but uh, I don't think we can actually do much better by like I could I could spend a turn or two walking west, but I don't think it's actually going to help to do so. Um, I just want to blink to here and then turn the corner and go this way. So let's read a blinking yes to here. All right, there's a, uh, yeah, we're getting mutated. That's life. But uh, we have the, the three full pips of fire resist. So none of this stuff is actually that threatening. An arrow trap, okay. Okay, yeah, these mutations, they are happening. How far away are we from being able to report? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So from here, we could blink twice and then a port. <sighs> that seems pretty good. Okay, let's do it. Yes. Do you guys remember, I don't know if I was on camera, the time that I blinked to like here and then read a scroll of fog so that the orbs of fire couldn't see me and then i was like no i can't deport <laughs> that was a that was a pretty good joke uh all right let's not do that again um i just realized something horrifying which is there's a moth of wrath right here i was considering walking towards the orb chamber instead of blinking but if this thing berserks me, I basically die, right? More or less. Something I really want to keep an eye on is whether I hear any snapping sounds. Because I put down like 10 passages of Glubria. Well, four passages, which I cast a spell five times, which means there are 10 portals down. Um, I don't think any of them are close to expiring yet, but if 10 of them do expire, we'll be in sort of sad shape. Um, but okay, I don't want to stand next to this uh, Moth of Wrath, so I will blink to here. A port. Le orb. We got it on the first try. Great. Cast, or pick up. Cast Galubria again, say, here. Uh-huh. And off we go. Um, so, problem. <laughs> There's a... Uh, I can't actually walk to the stairs from here. <laughs> okay, I think it's fine. We'll just walk into another... Yeah, okay. It disappeared, and here we go. We are out. All right. I am contaminated, which is totally fine. Um, I could rest on the stairs to regain some MP, but I would be... And, you know, wait out my contam. But um, all my buffs are still on. I don't want to waste them, so let's get rolling. Is that the staircase we came in? Yes. All right, pretty good mutations. Wow, minus 30% MP. We just keep mutating the same bad mutation. All right, but now we can rest a bit. Uh, we could quaff cure mute, but uh, the mutations we have were just like great. Does it, I thought, that you could be at zero contam with the orb. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, because it doesn't seem to be happening. Is this stone? Yeah, of course it is. Uh, go to dungeon zero, please. Brimstone fiend up north. Uh, yeah, let's change course and um, head for this staircase then.
go dungeon zero. And uh, yeah, I think this, this orb run is, well, so far it's going fine. Uh, a little problematic. Uh, we should just haste up and walk away. We can outrun him. Oh, hello, a Deva. It's not fast. It'll smite me, but I don't really care at all. The torment is annoying, but uh, that's why we got haste. Yes, 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 we're being tormented. It's all very sad. And we might get smitten a time or two. But uh, So I'm going to want to rest on the next staircase, but I didn't want to fight those guys. Yeah, yeah, okay, these guys are no problem. I'll, uh, I would rather stay here and fight them all. Hey, level 26. Um... I'm, you know, even if I have to fight those monsters, I'm still netting positive health, I guess is what I was getting at. And I do want to rest. Fighting those guys, I guess what I'm saying is basically the same as resting. Yeah, I don't know about the shadow demon though. Yeah, we can probably hit him with a rock while he's paralyzed. Yeah. And it's not like I need to conserve large rocks. I just need to get my health back so that I don't get caught out in something nasty on the next floor. My only death on the orb run was from getting tormented twice and then going upstairs in, instead of resting it off. And I, I don't plan to repeat that mistake. Um, even when it starts to seem a little bit dangerous to rest it off, going upstairs at a quarter health is just worse. I mean, depending on how dangerous it is, right? But um, if it's only a little dangerous, I would rather s stick around. All right, there's the lair. Hope you guys enjoy. That's our last sight of the lair ever, barring some very unlikely circumstances. Um, where's the, yeah, these are the stairs we're headed for, I guess. I saw a G, and I thought that was a bogger. Oh, this is the exit. You want to come with us, Goblin? Come on up. Cool. So, um... We win. The game is over. Uh, and we, uh, I'm on a, a three-game win streak now. Wow, that's actually sort of, um... Looking at myself on this high score list... It makes me self-conscious. Like, uh, I think this is the lowest score. This the lowest scoring win. Uh, well, okay, maybe not. These guys after me are sort of like they look like deaths in extended, which sometimes can outscore wins. But I mean, there's a difference of like five hundred thousand between between me and like. All the guys, like I think, I think you could win more slowly. I don't know. What I'm getting at is, I think this actually is the lowest scoring win on this server in this version of Trunk, uh, which is pretty funny. <laughs> we just spent so many turns. I don't know resting because ogres have a lot of HP and bad defenses. I don't know exactly. I'm not a fast player, but uh, this is actually slower than usual for me. So. It's funny to be on the very bottom of the high score list. Um, and uh, I'm on a three-game win streak. I don't remember if I said that already, but it's true. Um, I don't think any of the other games on that streak were on this channel. So uh, let me just double check. Uh, the Halfling Artificer and High Elf Orper. Yeah, you guys didn't watch any of those. But um, I, someone did ask the other day whether I... Um, upload every episode I record, or whether I filter out bad starts. And the answer is that I upload everything I record, unless there's some sort of technical issue, like I accidentally forgot to record the audio or something horrible like that. Um, I, I don't upload games... I don't decline to upload games just because I did badly in them. And I've mentioned this a few times on the channel, but, uh, you know, if you're new, uh, 
I try to give the actual whole, what's the word for not wholesome, um, holistic crawl experience of like, this is, this is what it is to play crawl. Uh, not just the happy-go-lucky of like when you start the game, you know you're going to be okay because I wouldn't upload the episode if I died on Dungeon 2. No. Games where I die on Dungeon 2 are some of the best ones to, have to upload because they have a very important lesson to learn. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, so that's, I guess, my summation for this uh, this playthrough. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, it was it was uh, It's a new god, and it's ogres, which I certainly don't have an easy time with. Uh, so I'm glad it, it turned out okay, and I, uh, and I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it and learned some stuff. Uh, stick around and uh, and watch whatever whatever comes up next. I don't know what I'm playing. Maybe more crawl, maybe hyper rogue. Who knows? Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.